It's uh, Wiggins' turn to defend resolutely. QB. Surrounded by three blue jerseys. Down he goes. That's the fourth. Just on halfway. Sherwin fires the pass wide. And it's dropped and picked up by Sam Tompkins. And Sam Tompkins will go all the way for Wigan. And will go over for the first try of the match. I don't think there's any doubt about the way that ball came out. And the referee agrees. The try is given to Wigan. Sam Tompkins first to react to the mistake on the far side. Eighth match in a row at standoff for the 20-year-old. He drew a blank last week against Warrington, but he scored tries in each of his previous three matches. Rich vein of form. He's in the side, of course, because Tim Smith, his season is over. Fortunately for... Uh, Castleford Shenton was there. Here is Joel Tompkins. Backer comes to Sean O'Loughlin. Now Thomas Lulawai bounces off Randy Chase. Good run from Thomas Lulawai. And they're claiming Wigan. He's got the ball down. And Steve Ganson wants the video referee Thierry Alibert, the Frenchman, to just check the grounding. I think it's knocked away just at the vital moment. It's a forearm that's controlling the football. Here it comes. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, I think it might be. Could be given this. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Slow motion replay. I think he loses control of it on one of the Castleford legs. No, I think that's down. I think it comes away from his grasp. I might be wrong. It's rolling along that leg. It's rolling and then along the forearm as Dixon. well. Does Dixon if it's knock it away? It does eventually, but. Has he got the ball down before Dixon gets the knee into it? No, I think that's no try. I think it is a try, and I think he's probably the most dangerous player in this competition today, running at defenders close to the try line. He is dynamically so powerful. Well, let's see what Thierry Alibert has made of all of this. It's his decision. And Thomas Lulawai watching the big screen as everyone in this ground is. And here comes Thierry Alibert's decision. The try is given to Thomas Lulawai. Here they've given it to Liam Higgins. Uh, quickly down to Bill with news on Sam Tompkins. Yeah, Sam Tompkins a bit subdued at the moment. Normally an effervescent character for Wigan, but he did get a bang on the jaw, a jaw in that collision with Mitchell. Collision with Mitchell Sargent, and uh, he's still been just feeling that area a little bit tenderly. So Sam Tompkins a bit shaken up. McGoldrick for Castleford pops it up to Rangi Chase. A little hop, step, and a jump in front of the would be defender, and a drive in here from Ryan Boyle. Last tackle for Castleford. Wigan being asked to defend their own try line again. Sherwin, just a little fumble. High Onside. kick looking for the big man. Oh, clipped out of the air by Dixon. Great try. If he's onside, onside that's on what trigger. Steve Ganson will ask Thierry Alibert to check for. But Dixon just sailed above Pat Richards then. Richards has got height on Dixon, but Dixon had the momentum running, looking for them, the football. Okay, mate. Yeah, I think he's okay. Oh, talk about picking the pocket. Beautiful kick there. Sherwin launches it into the corner. Richards went far too early. Dixon didn't. Thank you very much indeed. Tigers back in this game. Well, it looked at a time that the Warriors are going to start taking control. Boy, did they need that. Terry Madison will be a very relieved man. And Mr. Dixon is extremely excited. And so he should be. Because I'm sure this will be a try. And it is for Kirk Dixon. That kick from Pat Richards from underneath his own sticks reaches halfway again. And it allows Wigan to race from the line and only give Castleford 10 metres forward. There they are now in the second tackle. It's amazing, the Tigers are utilising the forwards nearly all the time and then waiting to the third or fourth play before they get it out wide. And it's a great ball. It is from Sherwin to Ferris. Chase to Sherwin to Ferris. And Steve Ganson is asking Thierry Oliver to have a little look at the possible obstruction in the build-up to this. But I must say to the naked eye, it looked absolutely first-class. Good solid work by the forwards. And when you hang off, Rangi Chase there, you can see that O'Loughlin's been sucked in. That means there's got to be a gap out wide. 
Has the man run into him? I don't them, think so. Seen them choked off for this this year. I think that's just a bad read by O'Loughlin. That he has enough time. I think probably if he turns the other way, he puts his back to play. Oh, they're checking the grounding. This is going to be given. Yeah, beautiful play. It deserves the try because it was inventive stuff from Chase and Sherwin. Went through a big hole, did Brett Ferris. And Brett Ferris. Well, there's only Steve Menzies and Tony Pulatua who have scored more as forwards in the Engage Super League this year than Brett Ferris. Out. So Richards now for Wigan as they try and work the ball away from their own line. Nothing to choose between the two sides on the scoreboard. And uh, Castleford going 10-0 down. They have fought their way back into the match, haven't they? And do you know what? They've entertained their home supporters, sometimes although not sending them home with a happy ending. Four times this year, they've lost games by four points or less. There have been some real cliffhangers here. I think the Tigers supporters hoping that they win a narrow one. Two points behind, Eddie. They want to make sure it doesn't end up that way. Indeed so. They've got a terrible record at home, though, this year. Three home wins, nine defeats. It completely mirrors what's happened when they've been on the travels. We're going to get another penalty here. Uh, they've won nine away from home, the Tigers, and had three defeats. Incredible, really. Yeah, it certainly is an amazing stat. And uh, Mr. Sargent. Well, I'm going to pat on the back from his coach, Teddy Madison, for giving away silly penalty yet again. The fourth, and Fielden running it forward on the first tackle. Now, this is an opportunity for Wigan to uh, increase their lead as they approach half-time. That's a good run from Coley. He finds Lulawai. Here he is again, trying to spin and turn his way to the line. Good mate. Sean O'Loughlin finds Sam Tompkins. Tompkins, brilliant try. Second try for Sam Tompkins. The first an opportunist effort when the ball was dropped deep in his own half. And Brian Noble barking out the instructions. Mike Forshaw will take the message on. But that try from Tompkins was all down to skill and the change of direction and the drop of the shoulder. Sam Tompkins with his second try of the match.